one pint of strawberries, chopped. Juice of a half of a lemon, and one third of a cup of granulated sugar. Give this a nice stir. We're gonna cook it down, make a nice little sauce, and then we'll be back. You can see this is starting to boil. So we're gonna turn this down to medium low and let it cook for about 10, 15 minutes until it's nice and thickened. You can see this is nicely thickened up. The strawberries have broken down a bit. Now this needs to cool and we're gonna put it in our cake. Hi friends and welcome to Let's Bake and Cook Stuff. I'm Mary and today we're celebrating love and friendship. It's Galentine's Day. Yes, that's actually a thing. February 13th is Gal Galentine's Day. I am making a delicious strawberry heart-shaped bunt cake. I have this cute heart-shaped bunt cake pan and I'm gonna be making a delicious strawberry bunt cake. It's loaded with strawberries, loaded with strawberry flavor and it's just the perfect thing to celebrate with your friends on Valentine's Day. I put the strawberries in a bowl so that they could cool faster. They'll, you know, obviously this pan is going to stay hotter longer than a glass, a bowl. So I put it in a bowl so it can cool, cool down faster. And now I'm going to be making the powdery strawberry goodness that's going to go in here. These are freeze dried strawberries. I'm just going to put this whole bag in here and um, I'm going to make it into a powder and then it's going to go into the cake and it's going to flavor it more. So it's going to be so much strawberry flavor. Really? You gotta plug it in. And I want this pretty finely chopped up. I want this into a strawberry powder. There's a couple of chunks in there. I'll break them up. As you can see, strawberry powder. And I'm gonna put about a third of a cup here. Well, that's pretty much that whole package then. Because now we know a package of freeze-dried strawberries makes about a third of a cup. That's good. <laughs> good information. Okay, now for our dry ingredients. I have two and three fourths cup of all-purpose flour. <laughs> Not sure why that had to be so loud. Uh, two teaspoons baking powder, three fourths of a teaspoon of salt, and three tablespoons of cornstarch. Now the cornstarch is gonna just lighten it up a little bit. So, you know, pound cakes or, or bunt cakes, they can be kind of, I'm gonna say sturdy. They need to be sturdier because they're, they're molded into a shape, right? And they have the cracks and the crevices that um, you know a regular round a regular round cake pan doesn't have. So you have to make up for that. Oh, I'm gonna put our powder in here too. This is the strawberry powder that we just made. So you see we're having real strawberries that are condensed a little bit, and we have the strawberry powder, so it's gonna be real strawberry -y. One cup of butter, softened and two cups of granulated sugar. We're gonna let these go for three to four minutes till it's nice and fluffy. Start on low, get it nice and mixed in, and then we're gonna turn it up to medium for about three or four minutes. Okay, that's been just a little over four minutes. Now I'm gonna scrape down the sides, scrape off this beater a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna add the two teaspoons of vanilla. Turn it on low, just, you know, so it won't splash out all over you. Two teaspoons of vanilla, and this is the zest of one lemon. It's probably also about, and it's probably a little over a teaspoon. Okay, now, four eggs one at a time. I'm gonna just turn this up to, closer to medium. One at a time. Scraping. Okay, now I'm gonna mix in all of the liquid ingredients, so this half a cup of milk, this third of a cup of strawberry sauce, we'll call it, strawberry jam almost, and a fourth of a cup of sour cream. Now about a third of my dry ingredients are gonna go in. Put the mixer on low. About half this liquid's going in. About a third more of the flour. The rest of my milk mixture, milk and strawberry mixture. One thing I can't stand is if I get a fruit cake, a cake that's with fruit in it, and it has like zero flavor of that fruit. So we're amping it up here. I'm gonna put in the rest of the flour. I made this before and it's, it's pinkish. You can see it's kind of pinkish, 
but when it baked, it was like gray. It was not very pretty at all. So I'm putting in a little bit of pink food coloring, optional, if you don't mind a gray cake. I don't know what made it gray. There's nothing gray in here, but I'm gonna mix that in. And that's just making it pretty and pink. It, you don't have to do it. But it was, it was like gray. Like, why did it turn gray? Okay, now I did spray my bump pan with baking spray that has flour in it. And it has pooled down in the bottom of my pan. I'm not sure if you can see that or not here. Anyway, there's little grease spots down there. So I'm gonna just rub those in. And we'll get all this batter off of the beater. Oh, that is a pretty pink. I hope it turns pink and not gray this time. I mean, it still tasted good, it was just gray. Okay, now we're gonna pour this right into the butt pan. I'm gonna plop it in there. For this cake, you need a 10 to 12 cup butt pan. This is a 10 cup. You never wanna fill your butt pans more than about three fourths full. And they do have, you know, bigger ones. I have one that's a 15 cup. Okay, now I'm pushing that down in there. That's one way to make sure you fill in all those creases, right? Now I'm going to place a kitchen towel here and then bang it a couple times on the kitchen towel. All right, now this is going into a 350 degree preheated oven for between 45 and 50 minutes. And we'll see you back here then. Let's make some glaze. I put two cups of powdered sugar in here, about two tablespoons of the strawberry sauce that we used for the cake, the leftover, and then I'm gonna put two teaspoons of lemon juice and see how that goes. Now this is where you can make it your own. Uh, make it thick frosting if you want, or uh, a nice runny glaze. I'm going for like a medium. So strawberry-ish, with your spatula. And this looks like how I'm gonna want it, but if you wanted it thicker, then you'd put a little less of that sauce in there, or less of the lemon. Or if you want it, if you want it thicker, you can also add more powdered sugar. Yeah, I want it kind of, kind of thickish, not too runny. All right, let's glaze us a bun cake. Okay, now it's time to ice our cute little Valentine Galentine cake. I'm just gonna put some. I'm gonna cut a hole in the pastry bag. If you don't have a pastry bag, of course you can use a zip top bag. And then I'm just gonna let this. How cute is that? All right, let's try a piece of this strawberry cake with strawberry glaze. Turned out strawberry-ish instead of grayish, as I was telling you my last one turned out. The cake has a lot of strawberry flavor, obviously. We put a lot of strawberry flavor in there. But then on top of that, that frosting just takes it over the top. If you love strawberries, you're going to love this cake. Bake this for your Galentine or your Valentine. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. You take care now.